Hello and welcome to the NMSL and RHS. I am your host, Kinda Circle. Welcome to Scotty's Farm, otherwise known as Ironwood Farms. Today we join Henry and Scotty on the rebuild of the engineer side air compressor we took off of 2926 about a month ago. Please, sit back, relax, and enjoy. You found it. There's more wood. It is a pretty stove, I can tell you that much. What we're gonna finish this week. The obvious one has pop valves in it. Does not, yeah. Oh yeah. So we, we honed both of these cylinders last week. in your way as usual. Oh, I'm gonna be stabbed. It's really mildly terrifying to watch that. That'd be lovely. Put one on Big Bird. Just a little, you get the Literally thou yeah. of a centimeter. Yeah, it's really nice. There you go. Um, yeah, so what we're doing is the cylinders are not in bad shape, but since we have the entire thing apart, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to hone the cylinders. So what that involves is taking this little device here that has a set of stones on it, and these stones are just an abrasive grit, and you insert this inside the cylinder, it expands outwards to, uh, to the size of the cylinder, fit into the cylinder, and you hook this up to a drill and you flood it with lubricant and you just go back and forth inside the cylinder. It's the same process as you would for a regular, like a car engine. Uh, and all that's doing is you're, you're just smoothing out the cylinder walls, cleaning up anything that might be in there, um, and putting nice cross hash marks in it to help with lubrication distribution inside the cylinder. And all that's doing is you just you're making a more friendly environment for the piston rings, so they operate as they should. So. Yeah. Get nice and in there. Don't pull the trigger; my hand will go by. <laughs> yeah, try not to remove remove any extraneous digits today. I, I am uh, I'm set and centered, as it were. Set, set and center. <laughs> set and center. Uh, set and center. Hold 
According to Bob DeGroff, they are. So. Okay. This air compressor is built by Westinghouse and weighs nearly a ton. 2926 has two of these one-ton air compressors, both supplying air to her tanks on the engineer and fireman side. The air that gets put into these tanks is then used to control her brakes, also to control the brakes of any train she is pulling. He really does not like that home. And that home does not it's like It's not them. a great design. No, it's, it's not. I don't know where we got it. We've had it forever. It's <laughs> to move your legs. Excuse me, sir. You're in the way. Excuse me, sir. I need to move my legs. Go. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta talk to it nicely. You just gotta know how to whisper, whisper sweet nothings. You just gotta whisper sweet nothings to it in the form of various curse words of many different languages. And right now, Henry and Scotty are removing the check valves. A check valve is a small valve that will allow air through one way, but won't allow it to come back through the other way. What the hell? Or was it just, oh, it might have been just, uh, just congealed grease. Yeah. Didn't know it. Can you have any rag down on the floor? Yeah, it's a good thing you know where it is. Thank you. No, it's too warm. Well. Hmm? It didn't take all the paint and stuff off, but it certainly cleaned it up. Look at that, it's just coming off. Uh, yes, always use the you know, proper tool. This is one of the main check valves for the air side of the compressor. And this prevents air from coming back into the compressor after it's left. Mm -hmm. So this is the last check valve that the high pressure air comes out of or goes through before it goes into the air tank. And over years, you know, they get a little worn out. And these actually, when we took them out, these are the other check valves. They were actually in pretty good shape. Uh, when we took them out. So all we're doing, uh, all I'm doing is with this one, we just finished soaking it in degreaser for a week. Uh, the valve face is this right here, it's this nice shiny bit. And all I'm doing is I'm taking some extremely fine 1200 grit lapping compound and lapping these back together, basically just giving it a, a final polish. They didn't need anything major, it's just a nice little finishing touch to make sure that it seals properly and gives us another 20 years of service before you have to do anything with it, hopefully. So anyways, so to polish a valve or even to lap a valve like this, you can see there's a slot in here on the back side of the check valve. 
And that's literally for a, screw, a flathead screwdriver, so you can just fit it in here on the top, apply just a little bit of pressure, and start going around. And the reason why I'm not going in full circles and why I'm kind of going in a mostly random pattern, and this, it just allows those grains of lapping compound to go back and forth, and so they don't get stuck in one direction and ground down in one direction, leaving... Also, yeah, it also cuts a little faster. So you do this for a couple minutes. And it doesn't take long. And when you're done, You get a nice polished valve seat. Because <laughs> that's all that's stopping air or liquid or fluid of any kind from going through a valve is just a direct metal to metal seal where the two pieces of metal have been ground together so precisely that nothing can slip through them. Of course, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support us and our endeavors, the links to our social media and website are in the description below, where you can donate or even become a member if you'd like. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy the next one we're about to do on stripping all of the paint off of the air compressor to get it repainted and hopefully rebuilt. My name is Kinda Circle, I am your host, and I'll see you next time.